Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King review. If you're confused and thinking, hasn't he already reviewed all these books? No, I haven't. Not here on the channel. All my reviews are up on Goodreads, but I never actually went back and reviewed um, the majority of his books from like, uh, I think Salem's Lot all the way to Sleeping Beauties. There was that huge gap. So I'm going through one book after another um, and catching up on my reviews. Today, we are talking about Tommy Knockers. Uh, this book, I have very, very mixed feelings about this book. Let me put this up. It's uh, too much of a chunker to keep on my lap because I'm too chunky. The belly gets in the way. Anyways, so Tommy Knockers is about uh, Bobby, um, who goes out into the Bobby is a, is a is a woman who goes out into the woods with her dog. She's out on a walk. She trips over an object in the dirt, and she starts to dig it out and uncover an alien spacecraft. And then everybody in her small town, the small fictional town of Haven, um, which is used just as much as Derry and Castle Rock in the Stephen King universe, uh, everybody in Haven starts uh, acting very, very strangely. Um, this book is absolutely fantastic for the first two thirds, and then it just goes completely off the rails. Um, in fact, I think the time, about the time I start disliking it is the time when we start going outside of Haven, uh, and then I, I, I just don't care about any of that. And then, of course, you have vagina tentacles. <laughs> yes, this book has... Vagina tentacles. Uh, it, it, it should be a plus, but in the book, it's just so absolutely bonkers, batshit crazy. Um, and everything about that time is when it starts to go off the rails. Uh, the rumor is, and if anybody can confirm this, I've been looking for people to confirm this forever, but the rumor is that Stephen King went to rehab um, and then, because uh, Tabitha found a trash can full of bloody uh, napkin, not napkin, but uh, tissue uh, because he had been stuffing him up his nose and writing because he, his cocaine habit was so bad and she said you know it's either rehab or GTFO uh, so he goes to rehab he comes back and he finishes this book um, but he wrote like the first two-thirds and then the other I don't I don't know that's the rumor um, it's with Stephen King rumors it's very hard to tell which ones are true and which ones are false we know he went to rehab we know he had a cocaine and drinking problem we know all these things but we don't know the uh, if that if that really happened if uh, Tabby actually did that and gave him the ultimatum um, but it seems you can tell to me anyways where the book shifts, where the book changes. Uh, much of the same thing happens in Dreamcatcher. And of course, he wrote Dreamcatcher while recovering from getting ran over by a van. Um, this one, th there's some certain scenes in here. Uh, I talk about how iconic Stephen King is. There's certain scenes in here that uh, I think are iconic as, as well as, you know, just any, even though I don't like this, the, you know, the last third of the book. Um, in this one, the scenes with all the magician stuff was, was fantastic. Uh, it's fascinating to read that section, the little boy making his brother disappear and then not being able to find him. Um, I thought that was very rad. All the people uh, doing you know weird inventions that shouldn't, that in no way, shape, or form should they work, and they do work. Uh, th there's quite a bit of fascinating content when we're just in Haven, and it isn't until we get out of Haven that the book loses steam. Um, the, the final, the final part of the book, the denouement, if you would, I'm a big fan of that, but there's a whole chunk of this book where I just, I'm, I, I get so tired of reading it and I just want to put it down. Um, to this day, whenever I reread it, I've read it, I believe five times, I uh, listened to the audiobook once, so five total, um, so four reads and then one audiobook. Uh, Every time I get to it now, like the last two times I've read it, I have skipped over all of that stuff after you leave Haven, and I jump back in for the for the final sequences with a guard and all, all that stuff. Um, this I there. There are plenty of people who absolutely love this book, and I respect that completely. Um, usually, I am on the bandwagon for Stephen King's weird stuff. I mean, I'm a huge fan of The Regulators, and that book is about damn near as weird as Stephen King gets. But in this one, it felt the tonal quality, the tonal shift is what bothers me. Um, I feel the same way about Christine. I've already reviewed that one. Um, my review's up on the channel. But it, there's a tonal shift. And I don't jive with the book 
after that tonal shift. But those are my thoughts on the Tommyknockers. Um, if you have read the Tommyknockers, let me know whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, whether or not you felt meh about it. But if you felt any of those ways, tell me down there in the doobly-doo in detail why you felt like that so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Stephen King book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!